What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We just arrived at our Airbnb. We're currently sitting out in front of it and we're getting ready to take all our things and put them inside. It is 12 16 and we're gonna be meeting my parents here shortly to either do lunch or just grab a drink or something before the game. My dad wants to be at the stadium. If you haven't watched any of my other vlogs, we're going to the Broncos game and my dad wants to be at the stadium like around three-ish. So we have a few hours, but we just want to drop off all of our stuff at the Airbnb. So like my laptop and the camera and all our stuff is not just sitting in our vehicle when we're at the game. Jared's reading the instructions on how to get into the Airbnb and our Airbnb looks so fun and super cute. So you'll definitely be getting actually two Airbnb Airbnb tours in this video because we're also staying at another one in Colorado Springs on Saturday. So we're here tonight and tomorrow. Tonight we have the game. Tomorrow we don't really have plans, but it's Jared's birthday, so I'm sure we'll do something. And then we'll leave Saturday and go to Colorado Springs and then go to my friend's wedding. And yeah, very fun and exciting weekend. So we made it inside of our Airbnb. It's super cute, super nice. And it's also like in the basement of somebody's house. So somebody actually lives here and she let us in the front door and stuff. And she's super nice and has a very, very nice home. I'll give you a tour of it. Probably not right now, but I can give you a little mini one. So this is the room we're staying in. It's pretty cute. It's dark right now. That's actually a couch that folds out, right? Yeah. And Jared just got changed. There's like four different game rooms in this place. It's super fun. And as you can see, there's air hockey down there, but I'll show you that later. We gotta get ready to go to the game. So I'm gonna leave my camera here and I'm just gonna vlog on my phone and stuff because obviously I can't take my camera into the game. We're probably gonna go meet my parents now for lunch or something. So we just parked our vehicle and we're about to get on the tram. This is the little bus thing that we rode to the game last time. And it's very noisy with all the traffic. Let me show you. Jared's buying us tickets. Here comes the tram going the other way.
and my stomach hurts so bad because I am so hungry. And all I have to eat are, literally, why didn't you just finish this bag? There's like two chips in here. Some chili cheese Fritos, some honey barbecue Fritos, and some donut holes. I'm so hungry, like my stomach hurts. I was gonna have Jared stop in at like some place fast food on the way back, but everything closed at 11 and it was 10.58. So, actually I really wanted in and out but we did not pass it all the way home. So, very disappointed. The Broncos lost, so frustrated. But it, it was a very bad game, but it was also kind of a fun game because it went into overtime, but it was so dumb, so dumb. But anyway, we're moving past it. We got a fun weekend ahead of us. Tomorrow is Jared's birthday. Actually like in, I don't know where my phone's at. If we were home, it would be Jared's birthday already. But we're an hour behind here. Come on. Yeah. I'm gonna have to finish my donut holes, I guess, and then go to bed because I am so tired. Also, look how cute my tat is. How fun is that? So cute and pretty. All for nothing. Okay, good night. <laughs> up to. How sweet. You can get chocolate chips in here. Here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Chi Chi. Come here. <laughs> oh yeah, that feels so good. That was nice. <laughs> Are you just marking me? Isn't that what they do? I, they I, rub on you? For... I think they just want affection. So What's up guys? I was gonna give you guys just a quick tour, so without further ado, I'll show you when we walk in. A little courtyard here, really kind of cute entryway. Let's take a look inside. Chi Chi the cat. Breakfast area. Let's go downstairs. Downstairs is a cool part. Little game room, pair hockey, foosball. Everybody, wait to play camera. It's a really cool food table. Got some weights, old dartboard, the breakfast area. Chanel made coffee this morning. Now we'll show you where the magic happens. The bathroom, it's got a flush on it. Number one and number two. And the shower, this is pretty cool. And that's it. 
good morning you guys i haven't even talked to you today i just got done getting ready did my makeup and threw my hair in a low pony and we're about to go exploring i don't know what we're gonna do i think we might go to 16th street if that's a thing maybe go to the 16th street mall i remember going there as a kid all the time but i haven't been as an adult and i don't remember it at all so that should be fun and then yeah i really don't know what else we have planned for today i definitely want to start out going getting a coffee and yeah this is my fit i'm wearing a little black uh corduroy what is it pullover thing just have blue jeans on um and then i'm gonna put these on but we can't put them on until we get outside but yeah it is jared's birthday today and i think they do this like with anybody that stays but the people that were staying in their house in their basement they made us breakfast like how cute is that and it was so cute uh, they made me like pancakes with chocolate chips bacon and eggs and they made jared a waffle with bacon and eggs and i just thought it was so sweet and so cute but <laughs> everybody down in the comments wish jared a happy birthday <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go exploring get we're gonna get a coffee go exploring and then nebraska place tonight i don't really know if we're gonna like go anywhere to watch them i'm just gonna leave it up to jared since it's his day and we'll see where it takes us <laughs> mm. you guys jared liked my drink today he tried it and said it tasted like a liquid pumpkin pie. <laughs> but I didn't get coffee. I got a grande iced chai tea latte with pumpkin cream cold foam. So yeah, pretty much pumpkin pie. Mmm.
so pretty here. Don't run into that. <laughs> <laughs> you got what is that thing called? A turn, like a turn style. We were leaving Hard Rock Cafe, and the door, you know, that you have to like walk into, and it like spins around. We got in one together, and I thought that I missed getting out of it, but I didn't miss it. Something. I ran smack dab right into the freaking wall. Or was it the glass? It was, it the, was glass. the glass. Friggin' ran right into the glass. My makeup print is probably on the glass window. And Jared yeah. was laughing so hard. But then I stopped and stopped this girl because I wanted to get a picture of me and Jared like in the middle of the street. And I stopped the right freaking girl because it turns out she's a photographer and she had like this five minute like photo session in the middle of the street in downtown Denver. And the photos are so good. Jared tried to buy her a beer afterwards, but she didn't know where so she was going, but we're so happy. So when we were on 16th Street, we went to this like little indoor mall area and at express i found this dress for the wedding tomorrow but all they had was an extra large and a medium and the extra large was too big and the medium like the workers kept telling me that it fit really good and i do think it fits the way it's supposed to but i'm just a little more insecure and it fit really tight on my stomach so now we're at park meadows mall and we're gonna head up an express and see if they have a large because i'm insecure too that's why i wear baggy jeans and not skinny jeans <laughs> So tough. All right, now we're walking into Nordstrom, and I've never been to Nordstrom before, so this is you fun. You like a shit. I haven't. Why would and I lie about that? How did you know what Nordstrom? Is? Because Nordstrom every freaking vlogger that I watch, Nordstrom is like their favorite place. It's so cute in here. back in the room again yeah, it's a small sticker I'm wearing my new Colorado shirt it's so soft on the inside and y'all know gotta have my sweatshirts Jared also got a t-shirt this is what he got cute do you want it here and then we went to TJ Maxx and I got my very first pair of mom jeans and Jared hates them <laughs> they're so cute Look at them. They're actually like American Eagle. And I got them for 20 bucks. Next purchase is a minivan. <laughs> Probably. And also we got some milk chocolate sea salt caramel. My stepmom had these a few weeks ago when she was in town and they were so good. She got them from TJ Maxx so I decided I needed to try them. But we just got home from the sports book bar and grill. We were watching Nebraska and they freaking won. They won back-to-back -back games this week and last week. Like, how crazy is that? So happy. Look at this. Look at it. It's just a little chocolate square. You want a chocolate nuggie? But I got them for you. They're your birthday cake. <laughs> yeah, hello. Remember when I was ringing them up? That's what I said? No. Yeah. No. It's 9.30 right now, and Jared's trying to go to bed. He wanted me to get this Airbnb so bad because he wanted to play pool and air hockey and all those things. And I'm trying to get him to go play that You've right been now. Gone all and he's day to day. being he thinks he's fifty nine, not thirty nine today. Come on, grandpa. Do you need me to get your walker? Do you have it? Yeah, I brought it in my suitcase. Well the the next <coughs> Airbnb better be like wheelchair accessible then. <laughs> you really don't want one of these? You guys, 39's been hard on Jared already. I feel like his brain went from like this to like this. <laughs> I'm 
just trying to get us a closer parking spot, so <laughs> you're clearly trying to do the same thing, so. No. You think you can walk through walls? I can't. Like fucking David Copperfield. <laughs> I can. How did that work out for you? Okay, we're gonna go play games. So, birthday boy wants to play a game of pool, so that's where we're gonna play. Are you breaking? No, you can. You want me to break? I don't know how to do this. Do I just hit it as hard as I can? Well, can I hit it at an angle? Yeah, if you want to. One, two. Made two? Of the same color? I don't know. <laughs> I was looking at this little tiny camera. That was the best break I've ever, I've ever had. What? Oh, I made two different ones. That's a stripe. This is a solid. So since do I get to choose what I want to You make? can, yeah. Since you made one of each, you get to choose which one you want to be. But is it my turn? that means you actually have to knock one in I for know. you to choose. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's still your turn because you made them. Oh, um, what are you going for? I hit the five ball. Is oh, that the orange one? Yeah, so I'm gonna hit the 14 to the five. Is that a combo? Yep, that's why I call it the combo. You just have to hit, say which ball you're gonna hit first and... Ooh, nailed it. So I'm stripes. Yep. <laughs> oh, did you just see that? Cop out on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and just probably run the table. No way I can go to bed. I'm leaving that in there. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, leaving, I'm leaving that in there. Uh, first of all, that was a floor. This floor is wooden. What are you. What? Oh, wait, from stripes? <laughs> I thought it was solid. I thought it was solid. Yeah, <laughs> why did I say something? <laughs> That was on camera. And <laughs> titty flopping out. <laughs> the hell, can you come back and put your window shit? <laughs> and I screwed myself. <laughs> this floor is bad. <laughs> like, it's not low. It's your butt. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now for a game of air hockey. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm. You can play by yourself. You can play one game. How does it feel to get beaten by your wife twice on your birthday night? It's no different than any other <laughs> night you get beat. You're such a liar. Winner, winner. Yeah, well, it says all my other bruises. <laughs> yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> Stop falling down the stairs. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. We are getting ready to leave Denver, which is sad. I've had a lot of fun here. And we're making our way to Colorado Springs. We're hitting up um, Starbucks before we head out. It's 10.06. I have to be at my friend's venue by 11 to help with like hair and makeup. And it's like a 50 minute drive. So we're like cutting it close, but that's okay. But I'm gonna run into Starbucks and get a drink really fast. And then we're gonna head out. We also stopped at Target and I got some press on nails that I'm gonna have to do in the car on the way. 
So luckily I already have my hair and makeup done. I'm probably gonna like throw my hair up later or something. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run and go get Starbucks. Starbies! So my eyelash, please ignore this lash. It just keeps coming off and I don't have my glue on me. Well, it's up here, but I'm not gonna glue my eye. While Jared's driving, I got my Starbucks. I decided not to do my nails because it's just gonna be a whole big mess in the car trying to lay them out and sort the numbers and stuff, so I'm just gonna do them later, I guess. But when we left the Airbnb again, the lady made us breakfast, which is so freaking sweet. She made us crepes this time, and they were so good. They were chocolate chip crepes, and Jared didn't eat any, but I ate, I would say about half of them. I was not very hungry, but they were so good. But when we stopped at Target, I didn't want to like throw them away because I wanted to maybe give them to like a homeless person or something but I didn't we didn't see any homeless people around there and so I just threw them away but just now we like got off the interstate and there was this homeless guy standing on the side of the road and his, he was holding a sign and it said broke and hungry anything helps and felt so bad because I wanted to give him my crepes but I didn't have them but Jared actually took the pretzel bites and the cheese curds that we had from last night at the bar he took them to go and so he actually just ended up giving that box of our to-go pretzel bites and cheese curds to him and he was very excited he was like thank you man and Jared's like he's gonna really like those <laughs> I've never seen a homeless guy run so fast yeah but Seeing all the homeless people like breaks my heart, especially when we were downtown yesterday. There were so many, and it was freezing. Like it was like 40 degrees. And then there was this one guy that had a shopping cart, and he was literally laying on the concrete, just covered in a blanket, which that was had to been so cold. Yeah, I hate to see it, but at least we fed one of them this morning. Hello, you guys. It's been a while since I've chatted with you. It's almost four o'clock and the wedding's at four, but I was busy doing girls' makeup and stuff. My Jared just got here and he's currently signing the card, putting the gift card in it and everything. And yeah, we're gonna walk up to the ceremony shortly. I'll give you a little view of what this venue looks like. It's so cool. But also wanted to give you an OTD. So Jared will have to take the camera for that. But this is the venue. It's like in the middle of the mountains. The ceremony is like up there, I think. And then it's like a ranch style venue. Mountains. How much was on here? It's so cool. Okay, so dress is express. Okay, so. So cute. It's like one little shoulder and a little cuff right here. And then boots, also express. Would you like to do an OTD? No. Let's show them what you look like. No. Yeah. No. Where's your stuff from? Walmart? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He looks so handsome. Wow, I just got this at Kohl's. Really? Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, say stuff. <laughs> just it's wedding time. Making our you. way up the mountain. We have ballet service. It takes right on up.
we made it home finally and we stopped and got our favorite Mexican place on the way home because we were hungry. I have no food here. So I got um, a chicken quesadilla, rice, beans, chips, queso, salsa, and Jared just got a chicken quesadilla. And now we're gonna sit and watch Hocus Pocus 2 because Jared hasn't seen it yet. And the dogs are so happy to be home. Honey's back in her window watching space. And it just feels so good to be home finally. Okay, so we, or I just got done unpacking. I literally unpacked everything out of my suitcase and everything like that. And it feels so good because I never do that. When I get home from a trip, I always like wait a few days or sometimes even a week, which is not great, but it feels so good to have everything unpacked and put away. Now, it is time for a shower because as you can tell, I'm sure, this hair, it looks like a rat's nest. I feel so sweaty and gross and I just wanna get clean and into some pajamas and then probably lay down in bed. It is currently 7.10. Jared and I watched Hocus Pocus 2 and um, this was my fourth time watching it and it was, it was his first and he said he actually really liked it. He said it was a good sequel. So yeah, that's good. That means we get to watch it throughout the holiday season. He just went to go grab some laundry laundry detergent because we are completely out and he also needed to get dog food. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and close the video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Denver with us and Colorado Springs. It was so fun, but I'm so glad to be home. It feels like we were gone forever. So happy to have the dogs back with us. When we walked into my brother's house, he wasn't there and he had them in the kennels. So when we went to go and let them out, Granger was barking. Like he was so excited. And then once we got him out, he was whining. Like they couldn't jump on us enough. Like they were so happy to see us. I'm sure that they thought that we just dropped him off at my brother's house and that was it and that was it for them and Jared and I were trying to do the math on the way home for how long it was for them and like dog days compared to like what it actually was and I googled it and it said that like one day in human time is like seven days in like dog time so we were gone for five days so technically for them it was like we were gone for 35 days which is so crazy but yeah Anyway, I'm rambling now, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments, so let's chat. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Oh, do you want to be in the video? I don't think you're in this video yet. Oh, hi, sister. Hi, sister. Tell him hi. Tell him hi. Say hi, brother. Say bye. Bye! You're literally laying on me, honey. Ow!